<coughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Toto Santos. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I thought I'd give you a few of my favorite tips for making cities in the city building video game Cities Skylines. So obviously now we're in Steam. I recommend you get the game through Steam. Other platforms generally uh, are not going to be as similar to Steam. So yeah, you should go with this one. So what you want to do is go to this green button, find the bright green button, and you want to go down one row, go over to here to DLC, don't click that, go over here to workshop, click that. Okay, now that we're here, what you want to do is go to most subscribed. And this is going to show you all the best mods that have ever been released. And then you want to go down here, see 310,014 items, click that. Okay, so what you want to do is find the green buttons. Just find the green buttons with the plus in them and click that. Now I already have all my mods downloaded, so I'm not gonna do it. But just do that for every single one. Scroll down, green buttons, green buttons. Go to the next page, do the same thing. And you wanna do that on page three as well. Page four, green buttons, five, green buttons, six, green buttons, seven, green buttons, eight, green buttons, nine, green buttons. 10 green buttons. That's probably good. I think that should be enough mods. That's like two, 200 mods or something like that. Okay. Now that you have installed your mods, I'm going to go to library, back to cities, skylines, steam page. And now you want to find the green button. And we're not going to do that yet. So what you want to do is now that you have all these mods, you're not going to be able to load the game, which is not very fun, if you ask me. So what you have to do is it, oops, you have to download more RAM. I'm gonna show you a quick guide on how to do that. So you want to go to your C drive where Windows is installed, and then go down to Windows, open up Windows, boot that up. System 32. And then type in SYS. SYS, SYS. Okay, now you're in the right area. What you want to do is find system properties advanced.exe. Okay, this is just a shortcut to get to this page. There are other ways to do it. I just recommend doing the shortcut. Okay, now that you're here, click this button, the blue outline, and go to advanced. Virtual memory change. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to your fastest and largest drive, select that one, select custom size, and then uh, mine's a little low right now. Generally, you're going to want to go 10 to 15 times the amount of RAM you have. So if you have 8 gigs of RAM, you're going to want to do 80 gigabytes here. Now I have 32 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to go 320,000 because it's in megabytes. You don't have to be exact. And set both the initial and the maximum size to your number. And this is basically going to set a fixed amount of RAM uh, that's going to download to your computer. Hit set. OK. 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 OK, you have now downloaded more RAM. Okay, now that we've completed the initial setup for a successful game of City Skylines, we're going to find the green button, and we're going to click it, finally. It may have to update, especially if you've just downloaded your 200 mods. That's fine. Just wait for that to do it. Uh, depending on the speed of your internet, you may be waiting for quite a while, but it's going to be worth it. I promise.
So here we are with City Skylines all loaded up. All your mods should be installed. There are no other steps here. They should just all automatically enable. Uh, and if you have any problems with that, just go leave a comment on the mod author's page uh, telling them that your mod isn't working because it's, you know, it's clearly their fault because there are no, there are no other steps that you need to do here uh, to enable your mods and make them work. So it really should just work without a hitch, assuming you have clicked all the green buttons like I showed you before. So now that so now that we're in game, I want to demonstrate some of the tips I use to make my cities uh, the way they are. And to do that, I'm going to load up one of my old cities that I think is uh, very high quality. It's called Sprocketville. Um, it's called Sprocketville. It's yeah, it's a really good city, and you know I, I made it a long time ago. So without further ado, let's load the game up. Now I'm just going to leave all my mods. So without further ado, let's jump into Sprocketville. Uh, obviously, I didn't use very many mods since this is an old city uh, that I made before I started modding the game. Here we are. Don't think uh, any of this is important. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So this is probably my first time seeing this place in, oh, I don't know, six years? My first impression is that it's kind of hideous. We have a ring road completely encircling the downtown, uh, which is really the best way to do it. We have these absolutely gigantic roundabouts, very wide roads. Hmm. Well, while I work on this, I'm gonna leave you with just a little bit of music and I will see you on the other side. So the other city um, didn't, it was a little, it, it was just a little bit too, um, what's the word? old. So what I decided to do is instead I decided to load up the game and we're going to build a city together and I'm going to show you the 10 commandments of city building. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into content manager. I'm going to enable unlimited money. And let's make a new game. And we're going to call this
its pace. Let's begin. Now just to expedite things, I have removed all my mods, and anyway, uh, everything we're going to be doing involves basic city planning principles, or as I'm calling them here, commandments. So we won't be needing any of those pesky mods that we installed. Well, I don't think it's going to work. Okay, let's begin for real this time. Now, I know I said that I was going to have 10 commandments for building cities in cities skylines. However, I just realized that I've already taken up eight of those with the first nine or 10 minutes of this video. So we're going to just do two more tips to flesh out this video of the top 10 cities, skylines, tips for building cities and city skylines. So the first commandment for building cities and city skylines is to pull back and just take a look at your starting square for a moment. Now this little vein here that runs through our square is called a freeway. And it's called that because you get it for free when you start the game. And what you need to ensure, and this is like, I, I can't stress how important this is. You have to make sure that you find, you see three lane freeway, it says there. Get that. And you want to outline this square. Now I'm going to be using the parallel road tool, which basically allows you to make parallel roads with this tool. I'm going to raise this road up. And like I said, we're just going to outline. I seem to have forgotten to use the parallel road tool. Okay, so I've gone ahead and surrounded our square with our three-lane freeway using the parallel road tool. Now here's a little tip for free. This isn't even going to be one of the commandments. It's just a, an extra, a little gimme for you. It really helps to follow the landscape. So you draw your roads. Of course, right here, there's no landscape because it's just grass. And there's an arbitrary border here, a natural shoreline. And that's right, you want to build freeways on your shorelines, okay? Something like this is going to really serve you well when it comes to carrying traffic around your city and making sure that everyone can get where they want to go. Now that you have outlined your area here, the next step is to get an interchange because we need some way for our little people to leave this freeway and run off onto the ground. And they can drive around our city uh, just on the floor instead of on these freeways. So I think I'm going to do a little building off camera and I'll show you the results in just a moment. Interchange here. Uh, this is called a four leaf clover and I, you know, I made it myself. Um, you really need to make sure you get sharp angles here on the, the ramps, but an important sticking point with interchanges like this is this thing. And there's a serious problem with these because you have three lanes here going into three lanes here. Well, that makes sense. Three lanes here going into three lanes here. That makes sense. But they also have three lanes here going into three lanes here. That's not so good because uh, the U-turn doesn't make any sense with the four-leaf clover. Um, this is not fixable. Uh, there's no way to... There's nothing in the game that you can do to negate this problem. Um, so what... Is it not game-breaking? But cars are going to be doing U-turns here. And then they're going to be doing U-turns over here as well. And... You know, they just keep going around in circles. Or rectangles, I guess. Over and over again. Uh, that's just kind of a fact of life with this game. 
So I just thought I'd uh, warn you about that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of building off camera and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I finished up the road network here. Basically, you don't wanna go overboard with grids, okay? You can have like a little section here and there, uh, but if you do too much, it's just gonna get boring and repetitive, right? Because squares and rectangles, disgusting. Don't use them. So that's gonna be the second commandment for making cities in the city skylines is don't overdo the grids. You need some areas here and there that are just a little bit different, right? Especially you can make it conform to the landscape, like here. Uh, that's just gonna, you know, be your best bet for making a good road network. And thus a good city, because roads are the most important things in your cities. You don't really want to spend too much time thinking of other stuff, because that's just gonna get in the way of your roads, and especially your freeways. So the next step in our city is going to be to purchase some more squares, and then we're going to expand our road network to cover the rest of the map, uh, because you really do or at least this is my experience with city skylines, is that you want to spend all your time building your road network for your whole city first uh, and not actually putting any buildings down. Because uh, then you can come back later and put every single building down one by one. And uh, that's just going to be the best way to do it in terms of keeping up your motivation. So I'm going to go uh, do, buy the, uh, I'm going to go buy those squares and I'm going to add more roads, like I said. And I'll see you in just a Okay, I laid down a few roads off screen. Um, like I said, you don't want to gritty too much. Uh, you want to leave some green spaces here and there. For example, here along the shoreline, I imagine the citizens of the city would actually want to be able to go to the beach. Um, so I've left some beach areas free for them. We'll decorate those in a later episode. But for the most part, I just wanted to kind of randomly place the roads and make them look uh, nice and irregular so that it doesn't look like too much of a pattern. Uh, and beyond that, I just put in a few freeways uh, snaking through the city so that people can go from A to B uh, as quickly as possible. And then, of course, we have our normal freeway block grid. That's very important. Okay, now that we've covered that, I think I'm going to go do a little bit of building off screen, and I'll be back in just... Huh. Well, I seem to have reached the building limit in this city, uh, so I'm just going to show you really quickly what I've done so far. So generally you want to have some variation in your buildings just like you do with your road network. So you're going to have to go ahead and just uh, change up the grid a little bit, change up the blocks, and eventually you're going to get something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, but like I said, I have met the building limit so I unfortunately cannot continue with this series at all. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this series and this video as a whole. I know that I did. It was really a lot of fun uh, to make something. I've never made a city quite this big before. Now, the people haven't actually started moving in yet. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, maybe I've... I, oh, well, I forgot to put services down. Hmm. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate your time. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye-bye. What? <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm just going to let you look at this for a minute.